we need to remind ourselves that FOSS plays an essential role in the AI ecosystem. It really brings important benefits that are unique to FOSS. So, um, for example, it can improve transparency and auditability of AI systems. So, in other words, you know, the fact that they are open and accessible, um, that you can share the software, the data sets, and the models, all to make up this AI ecosystem. Um, you know, it allows a lot more scrutiny and understanding of both their capacities, their cap capabilities, and their shortcomings. Um, it makes it also a lot easier for many players, um, many different players like nonprofits and startups and SMEs to enter, to innovate and compete in the market. So it really can en enable competition and innovation by new entrants and smaller players. And that is vital to the EU if we want to sustain innovation. And I guess lastly, FOSS also helps build a more dynamic and inclusive landscape it can show that, you know, smaller models can be highly effective and, you know, they, they're they easier to experiment with. They can diversify control. And I think very uniquely, they provide incentives that are not profit motivated, motivated. So it's really important that they form part of the AI ecosystem. So the AI Act, I think, is going in the right direction, but, and it's a big but, it's, uh, it can certainly do better at supporting open source software. The issue is that current proposals, they really threaten to create impractical barriers, um, disadvantages for uh, contributors to the open ecosystem. So to give you an example, the text, as it currently reads, it could impede simply just making open source components available in public repositories or collaborating on them. And that is the very process on which open source develops. It depends on this, um, this sharing and collaboration. So if that is prevented, it becomes impossible to develop uh, open source uh, systems.